The name of our ninth Imam is Imam Muhammad ibn Ali alayhi salam and he is titled at taqi and Al-Jawad. His agnomen is Abu Ja'far. He was the only son of our eighth Imam, Imam Ali Raza alayhi salam and Bibi Sabika Khatun, who is also known as Khayzuran. He was born in the 10th of Rajab in Medina and born when his father was 45 years old. Imam Muhammad Taqi alayhi salam was 5 years old when his father was called to Baghdad by Ma'mun Rashid to be his heir apparent. Following Imam Raza's martyrdom, Imam Taqi alayhi salam became the Imam at a mere age of 9. At such a young age, Imam Taqi al-Islam was compelled by Ma'mun to debate with over 900 most learned scholars of that time. Imam Taqi al-Islam stunned the crowd with his prolific and scholarly answers. Believing that Ma'mun could influence the young Imam from childhood, Ma'mun conspired against Imam Taqi al-Islam the same way as he did with Imam Raza al-Islam, that is, by providing distractions to take him away from Islam, which of course never worked. Ma'mun also compelled Imam Taqi salam to marry his daughter, Umm Fadl, with the hope that the 12th Imam would be from Ma'mun's progeny. The Imam himself recited his marriage khutbah, which became so famous that it is being recited in weddings even today. Umm Fadl did not have any children, and Ma'mun's conspiracy failed once more. So Ma'mun sent Imam Taqi salam back to Medina with Umm Fadl. Imam Taqi salam also married Bibi Samana, who was a descendant of Ahmad ibn Yasir, and she was the one who gave birth to Imam Ali Naqi salam, the 10th Imam. While Imam Taqi was in Medina, he prepared books for the Messiahs of Ijtihad and Taqlid which were essential to prepare the believers for the Ghibat of the 12th Imam. Ma'mun died and was succeeded by his brother Mu'tasim Billah. The Imam was martyred at the age of 25 on the 29th of the Al-Qa'da because of poison instilled in his drink by Mu'tasim through his niece Umm Fadl. He is currently buried in Kasmin near Baghdad in Iraq together with his grandfather Imam Musa ibn Ja'far.